Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be a Easter um, one. Um, I don't know if I want to call it, let's call it an Easter cake. So um, let's get started. Um, I know you guys are tired of me working with these foam hearts from Dollar Tree. But let me tell you something, I love them. And you can make so many different things with it. So, I just want to try something out that I had in my mind for a couple months, knowing Easter was coming around the corner. So, let's get started. Let me move this over for you guys can see. So, I got one of these from Dollar Tree, of course. I got a foam, and then I got some of this. And I got some pumpkins on, I mean, some pumpkins. Sorry about that. I got some carrots and stuff on the side. So I want to make something cute. Something, I don't know. Something different. I mean, I've seen a lot of people making these. People make them with real um, chocolate hearts and make them with so many different things. Put this here. Okay, so we're going to start with this part. So I want to use this going around the heart like if it was um, grass. So let me see here. It might work better. I don't want to go too low and then you guys... You can see better what I'm doing with it up there. Well, we don't need this piece of paper for now. It's just annoying me. Okay, so we have it on there. And I just want to go around. Around my edges a little bit here. Not the edge edge, but. Because like I said, I want to lay this out. Like if it's, um some grass I don't know how this is gonna work out this is just my head going with what I had in my you know head so I'm gonna move this for a quick minute that way you guys can see better like what I'm doing right here So I just like want to go around like that. You see what I mean? And just cover up my glue. You know, once your glue dries, which I'm using the tacky glue. Once it dries, you won't see the glue. But hopefully it will help hold pretty good for me. Let's leave this upside down because so I just want to try to put as much I was gonna do this off camera but then I thought can't do it off camera then I gotta explain it I might as well just do it real quick all right Let's grab some more of this and just like, you know, if you pull it, it opens up a little bit, stretches it for you. So with my luck, I had the idea. I knew what I wanted to do. But of course, when I go to my Dollar Tree, they only have one pack. And I found it like dug under something like I had to like really look for it so I was excited that I at least was able to find one 
One is better than nothing. Okay. Let's see, I'm just gonna keep going around. I'm gonna get enough glue, that way when it dries, you get a good stick. So I gotta make this work. Like I have to be able to stretch it. <laughs> Which it looks like I'm good. I'm more than good. So it was a good thing then. Because I'm telling you, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? If it doesn't end up being enough. Okay. So um, on the side of me, I have white. I have um, white um, lightweight spackle in a piping bag already, and we're going to cover our foam heart with the spackle because we're going to turn our little heart into a little rabbit, bunny rabbit. This is why I wanted to do this part because I thought it would look cool because it's like he's, well, she, we're making a girl, is on um, grass. Okay, now let's put the heart back down on here. Okay, we need a little more. We're going to go a little more from the inside. I'm going to make sure I get a good amount of this tacky glue down. That way, hopefully it will help hold this little stuff down. Which is not heavy, it's not nothing bad, so. It'll still work. Okay. Let's go around again really quickly here. Like I said, I just want to make sure there's enough that when we lay our little bunny down, there's not like big gaps. I think this is going to turn out pretty cool. So you guys notice this video I am making for you guys sitting down. I love making videos standing up. I feel like I craft better that way. But because due to the weather, I've been going through a lot of pain in my legs. So, I have um, screws and a rod in my right one from when I broke my ankle. So, when the weather is really bad, I am feeling it. Where there's... Sometimes I don't even want to get up out of my bed. So, I've been going through that. And it's been rough. Because it's been weird here. One minute, it's really nice. And the next minute, it's really cold. Okay, so if you guys can see what I did... Um, once the glue dries, you won't see those white spots. Maybe I will fill those little white spots. I like working with this. I've done other crafts using this stuff, and I like it. I'm going to be honest, the smell to it, though, after a while, starts, like, 
getting on my nerves. But okay, so we're done with that part. As you guys can see, that looks pretty cool. Now, let's get to the. Let's move this out of the way. All right. Okay. I'm trying to keep up with my mess. You know, it's not guaranteed to stay like that, but. Okay, so let's get to our heart. Now for the heart, I was thinking, let's move this. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move that out of our way real quick. We're gonna put this here. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And we're going to do the heart. So for the heart, I'm trying to think how I want to do it. Like I said, I have spackle, lightweight spackle in my um piping bag already. But I'm trying to think. For the bottom part, I have to think here for a minute. So let's say this is the bottom part of our heart. I'm just putting white spackle over it, the bottom. I'm just putting spackle all over on the bottom, like on the one side of the heart. But in the center, I'm not going to put spackle too much because in the center part, I want to put some glue for it can hold for us. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Just trying to cover up the bottom, the like edge part of it. Because once we lay it down, we're not, it's going to be pretty hard to try to get the spackle down here. You know what I mean? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Just a stick. And we're going to stab this on this side of our heart. Get this back off my hand. Okay. So I did that. That way I can. I'll show you in a minute. I still not got some to put right here. All right, so you can't see it, but I put spackle going the whole way around the edges 
as best as I could. Because like I said, when I lay this down like this onto the grass and I start doing the top, I'm not going to be able to get down there. So we put some before. So let's get this back up here. Let me move this one second and I'll bring it back up high again. But I'm just going to glue this down here. I'm gonna hold it down for a couple minutes. And make sure it holds. It feels like it did. Let me just give it a couple more seconds. All right. Yeah, we're, we're good, see? And we're gonna pull this back out all right so now so now what I wanted to do with my so I wanted to see how I can get these this on here really pretty And I'm just spinning around. I'm just going around in circles with the piping. Okay. Did you guys see? I just... Okay, so there. I think that looks really pretty. So now we're going to take and we're going to add, we're going to add some more. I might be able to add it right in that bag. Let me see. Oh. No, we're just going to do another one because for real, for real, I don't feel like doing all that. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put some more um spackle in a piping bag for we can get the rest of of it in. Get some more spackle here. We got to fill in our top part. had mixed up in here right so I wanted to mix this pink in there how this turns out I'm probably gonna come out crazy but okay I have a stuffy nose Move this to the side of us over here fill the bag up the whole way because it's not a lot left on top of there. So, oh, that wasn't cool. All right. Set this to the side. Let me scoop up this big ass, excuse my language, a uh, piece of spackle that just flew out. All right, so I want to turn it without. You can't even really see. I apologize for that. Here we go. <gasps> we almost lost it. It's really pretty. Okay, so now I want to take some glitter. Make sure 
sure I get it good. Perfect. Perfect. I better do that this way. Okay. There's that. Okay, so I'm going to stand up for a minute, guys. So you're going to, like, not see half of my head. But it's just because I want to make sure that I get, um this on there right okay so I have ears I have these little ears that you know what I'm gonna move this over one minute hi guys and I'm gonna try to bring you guys up a little bit and see if that helps I'm sorry for all the moving around. But okay. We'll make that work. So. This is the bottom. And this is the top. So. I want to put... These adorable little feet. I wanted to stick them right here. So. I have these little wires that I have from another craft and I figure just stick them in there that way I can stab them in and then um these are from Dollar Tree they're the um two rabbit legs that um come two legs in a pack see and I just cut them for they can fit I cut them up that way I can try like I said to put them in like our little legs so I don't know if it's gonna work I'm, I'm hoping it does if it doesn't it's fine but we tried so um I need to hold this part It went in, guys. Okay. It's a good thing. I just got to remember to hold it. Okay. About right here, I think. There we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Okay, so we got his feet in. Now we need to get his ears in. Oh boy. Now for his ears, I'm gonna definitely cut. Now for his, wait, let me turn it around guys real quick. Try to get one to bend. OK, 
Okay, so for the ears, I'm thinking, I guess, upwards. And then we'll do one straight up. I got it to stay. I just put a piece of glue and I got it to like stay down. I think I did. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to stick the ears straight in. Well, the ears are a little easier to get in than the uh, feet was. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <sighs> See, guys? All right. Now let's get this ear in. I mean, I got to turn it my way real quick, guys, because you know if I don't, I'll have an ear like that. Okay, so I made a little bow. So I kind of was thinking about sticking the bow, maybe in this ear, since it's the ear that's like tilted. Just a cute little bow and I made two of them one smaller than the other one and I just glued them on top of each other so I was thinking about sticking this maybe in, in on this side because that's the side like where the ears like bent So now, like I said, I have some carrots. I have some are small. These are 18 in a pack of the mini carrots from um, Dollar Tree. They're so adorable. Here, where we put the little bow. Okay. And we'll leave that like that. Okay, so I'm trying to think where we could put some carrots. I have these carrots as well. Oh, that one. So I have these. Um, uh, let me see. We definitely have to use some of these because I think these right here are freaking adorable. So we're going to definitely use one of these. Uh, set one right there on the top. You know, I also have these, but these are like really dark color compared to, I don't know. Like, you see what I mean? So, but it, these are big, so that's why I thought maybe one of these would look cute. But like their color is way, oops, way off. Okay. 
they came off. We're going to stick them right in there. All right. Uh, I'm just thinking here. these so we're going to use a couple of those maybe all of them I'll definitely put one back here you guys a lot of you guys come at me for not using In the back. <laughs> All right. I, I think we're not going to use these. We'll save these for another project. either. No. We're going to leave it just like that. I think we're going to leave it just like it is. At least we have I think that's perfect, just like it is. Maybe we could put an egg. No, nope, we're not gonna put an egg. Maybe we could put an egg down here somewhere. Right here. That looks pretty cool. You see, oh, I do have another one. Look at that. Okay, we'll put this one on this side. Is there any other crafters that when they make something and they really, really love it, they get so excited about it? I'm one of those. I felt like I needed a little more of glitter right here in the very front. Okay, guys, we're done. I think this came out perfect. Came out better than what I expected. Okay. Now, I'm gonna bring it up off of here because I want to bring it closer to the camera for you guys can see how horrible it is. That did not come out perfect. Look at that. I love it. And see, I put a carrot back there. Where nobody comes at me. Oh, I just love it. I really, really love it. Okay. So, um, 
Maybe I could put a little tiny carrots right here. I feel like the back looks too clean. Put some carrots back there. I love this. Like, I really, really love it. So I'm going to sit these back here just to have them here if I ever need them for another craft. I just can actually just turn around and grab them as I need them. Yeah, so I think we are done. And I love, love the way this turned out. See, it's the mini carrots, which is these little tiny ones right here. And they are freaking adorable. Okay. So guys, we're done. I'm going to leave it here because I think it's perfect as it is. And I don't want to just keep adding a lot of stuff on it and making it look crazy. Because like I said, I think it looks perfect, perfect, just like it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed making it. Um, I hope you guys try it out. Um, if you want to take a quick look of my background setup, I did for my Easter which I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You guys know I love my gnomes. And I I always get a lot of um, bunnies. My Dollar Tree bunnies. Um, I love it. This was a craft I did last year, which I love as well. And I just put a little something together there. They got these this year. They have a lot of new things at Dollar Tree for um, decor and stuff. So, I was real excited about that. So, um, let's get back to ending this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And please don't forget to keep subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.